How's it going? How's this feeling? Just get a bit sore. Uh, mine was pretty sore. So if you were super sore, like day two gets worse, but uh, if you are super sore, back down off your weight. My goal here is not for you to be super sore. Uh, it's a good chance you've overtrained then, you went too heavy, so back off on your weights if you're super sore. Some soreness is okay, but if you felt the way I did, your butt was on fire, and I know that. So today, day three, we're going to keep this short and sweet. I have eight exercises. Finish your Friday strong, we're going to short and sweet, and then focus session at the end, and then you're done for a week. Sounds good? You survived week one. So if you're doing this Friday morning, I hope I see a sweaty high five so you can't get some magic spoon cereal. I'm just saying, like, it's free food. Why wouldn't you want to do that? So let me see the sweaty high five. Shoot me a text or a message, comment below, or have your separate post. It's whatever you want to do, all right? So let's start warming up, all right? Cool? Let's do it. Start with yeses. Four. Three, two, and nose, full range. So I want you guys to go as far back as possible. Three, four, five. Shoulder circles. I am sore all over the place. <laughs> and full range. So I usually train probably three days a week. With this booty challenge now, I'm doing more. And my body's not used to it. And the other way, I teach local two classes at least a week. Sometimes it's three. And I do eight by eights. Oh, if you ever heard about eight by eights, eight exercises, eight reps, eight times through. And I am all over so. Like this feels great. My chest is just opening up. Hands on your chest. Engage that core. Nobody can poke you. Have circles. Five. Four. Three. Two. The last one. All right. Squeeze your shoulder blades in the back. Roll to the front. Roll down your spine. Walk it out to a plank. Bring that one leg to the front. Keep your hips straight. Rotate up. Three, two, one. Hand down. Foot back. Switch sides. Up. Two, one. One more time each side. Switch. Foot back. Other one to the front. Two, one. Hand down, foot back, keep your legs straight, use your hands to come back. Roll up your spine. Opening up our hips, ready? Over, keep this straight. Five. Four. Three. Two. It's gonna get hot in here. Last one. I can either have dorsiflexion. I can either have the AC running, and you guys not hear me, or I can not have it run, burn up, but make sure you can hear me, and the other way. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Switch sides. Up, over, back down. I'm so frustrated about the suit not turning out. <laughs> Four. Last one. I want to apologize again that the Zoom didn't work yesterday. Technical difficulties. I swear I couldn't get into my laptop. It just shut down. It wouldn't do it. And I'm like, this is unreal. Like, this is not meant to happen. I feel like every time you try it, if something else goes wrong. She's like, Ugh. Ugh. I want him on so bad. I like animal flow and there's more I want to learn. But I feel like it's just not meant to be. So we're going to try it next week again. All right, ladies. Get your band. So you'll need a dumbbell, obviously, and you need to 
uh, your elastic bands, okay? and you haven't sent me your email address to send you the invite, I don't know what to tell you. And we're going to record it so you can't watch it again. But in order for you guys to watch it again, I need an email address. I'm sorry. And rest. 10 second rest. I promise you guys I will not send you guys anything, no spam, no nothing, other than that. Other than the invite. There won't be no spam, nothing. Four, three, two, hang on, I gotta reset it. One, let's go side by side, stay upright, make sure your feet stay parallel from each other. The minute your foot goes sideways, you're not gonna feel it where you're supposed to. So the minute you go out sideways, you're not gonna feel it. Keep it parallel. And just do it at your pace. Like you do not have to keep up with me at all. We have our break, I'll wait on you. Ha! Ah. Ah. <laughs> right? I know. Push through it. <laughs> I'm right there with you guys. Oh. Come on. This is brutal. This is so brutal. <sighs> We're gonna finish that glued off and we're gonna have buttons out of steel for a weekend. Ah. And rest! Perfect timing! <laughs> God! On the ground! If you can. Nice and easy. Now go over. Now bring your band above your knee. If you're brand new, you're super sore, leave the weight out. There's no need to add weight to this if you're super sore. If you're like, yeah, I've got another round in me, wasn't too bad. Matter of fact, I'm way too advanced for this, add weight. All right? We're going to do hip thrusts. We're going to do three rounds of 20. And as usual, there's a surprise at the end. Right? I know. So when we're not doing singles, we're going to do double. Keep that band and keep that tension around your knee. I know I have a hold on this. Got it. Ready? Three, two, one, let's have fun. 20, 19, focus right, keep it up for a second and then drop it. 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, oh God, 10, 9, think about something else. <laughs> I know. Seven, six, five, four, three, 
engage your core. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ugh. Ten. Eleven. Come on, one more. You can do it.
So two dumbbells are going to come up, up, down, down. So the last leg that comes down goes back up. And then switch sides. Down, that one goes back up. All right? It's harder than you think. I've had clients that this was very hard. Ready? Now I want full extension on the top. Ready? Three, two, one, let's go. Step up, back down, and back up. Eleven, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. You can do it. It's pretty easy. One more. Last one. Rest. Oh, it's already hot in here. Then I have no water. Gosh dang it. No water. So we're going to do another round. Step up. We're going to come up. Knee. Down. Down. So you're switching sides now. Knee. Down. Down. Knee. Down. Down. Okay? So this time, the first leg that's coming down is the one that goes back up. All right? And then you switch sides. Down. Back up. All right? If this is too much thinking, with weight, keep the weight out. Ready? Three, two, one, let's go. Knee lift, down, down, switch. Knee lift, down, down, and again. Ten. Nine, use your core though. Eight. Seven. Six. Five, come on. Balance right there, suck at it. <laughs> Four. Three, two, last one. All right, sissy squats. Now these may be advanced for some of you all. I don't know. They are advanced. Go do my door frame. This is your door frame. So let me teach you this squat, okay? If you don't have the mobility to do so, uh, why won't you do two rounds of goblet squats? So big old white stands, you're going to do two rounds of goblet squats, all right? If this is too much. Otherwise, this is squat. I'm going to lean back. Touch your knees down, come back up. All right, I'll do it again. So this is your door frame, you're holding on to your door frame. Uh, my door frame's over there, I can either film or hold a stick. You're gonna lean back, tap down, come back up. Yeah? Awesome. So we're gonna do two rounds of 12 of those, okay? Ready? Three, two, one, let's go. Come down. And back up. 12. 11. 10. 9. Oh, quads. 8. 7. 6. 5. Number right, 
Neither am I. <laughs> Woo! Round two. And then we're done with legs. We're moving on throughout the body. Ready? Three, two, one. Let's go. Come down, take your time. Get better at it. You don't push yourself so hard. This is all new. And let's get better at the exercise. If you cannot do those, do your sumos. You're working a different muscle group, but that's fine. Oh, I think that's five. I didn't even count. Let's go. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ha ha ha. Ten. Nah. One more. <laughs> Done with legs. Actually, let's do some calf raises. I'll write it down. Grab a weight if you want. Do it without the weight. Let's do some calf raises. Ready? Feet together. Three, two, one. Let's go. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Last one. Now put your heels together. Ready? Feet together, heels together. Three, two, one, let's go. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, last one. So this is the awkward one. Toes together. Ready? Three, two, one, let's go. Ten, nine, eight, Seven balance. Six, five, four, three, two. Last one. One more time. Mwah. Seven, 
six, five, four, three, two, last one. Mm. Ready? Round two. Shoulders back and down. Tuck your pelvic under. Engage your core. Ready? We'll come up here. I'm going to wash you. Shoulders back and down. Ready? Yeah? Let's do it. Come on. 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 4, Three, two, drop it. Rest. All right. Ready? Now I'm trying to give you guys a minute. It's really hard because you guys are just going to be like, well, why is she even here if I'm going to just take more time and take a break? It's important to recover and then build that ATP system back up and then crush it. Ready? Last round. I'll come back up here. It's not crawl. Ready? Three. Shoulders back and down. Two. One. Ready? Let's go. Twelve. Eleven. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four, three, I know, two. Mm. All right, next one, my favorite are rows. So an important thing about rows, once you're hitching from your hips and you're rowing, that you squeeze your shoulder blades in the back. And I know it's hard to build that connection to your back because you can't physically see it. I wish I had a different shirt on or I'd show you, but I'm not one that's going to stand here half naked. Uh, you can tell a difference when you just use your arms to go back, then, or even like this coming back, then uh, if you were actually to engage your back to do it so. You could feel the difference. So I need you guys to focus on squeezing your shoulder blades together. Do not let your triceps do the work. So if you're rowing and you're feeling it right here, you're not using your back. Make sense? Awesome. So I'll stand sideways. Your stance is hip distance apart. Hinge from your hips, take that bum back. Ready? Three, two, one, let's go. 12, 11, 10, nine, eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, last one. Easy peasy so far, right? Because you're already sore. Next one, another round of row. We're going to hitch from our hips, but we're going to hold it up here in the negative for one second. And then we're going to let go. Hold it, let go. Really emphasizing on that squeeze on the top. Okay? Let's do it again. Alright? Three, two, one, let's go. Hold it and let go. Hold it and let go. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, I know. Last one.
Department of Branchulus. Just right here. So again, we're gonna tuck that tailbone one under. We're not arching. Tuck it in. Narrow grip. If you're using a bar and you have a bar, uh, a bar around, use the bar. Otherwise, everybody else grab their dumbbell. God, I know we have one, two, three work or exercises left, and then I'll we'll do stretches, and then we'll go to the focus session. Okay? If you're doing a focus session right after this, don't do the stretches. Go over to do the focus session and then do the stretches. All right? All right. Three. Two, so palms facing you. One, let's go. Twelve. Eleven. Ten. Don't flare your elbows up. Shoulder height. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One more time. Next week we're going to pick it up a notch. Just a notch, not too much. This is brutal. How much time am I coming in? Yeah, I need to move it. Ready? We are 36 minutes in. Finish strong. Three, two, one, let's go. 12, 11. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. All right. Let's finish on some abs and then we'll stretch it out. Short and sweet. Taking you guys down. Don't freak out. Don't freak out. Hi there. Hi. How are you? Cool. A little bit of hate in my guts. That's okay. It's okay. Think about your goals. All right. You'll thank me later on. I know. I got you. I got you. All right. Let's do ankle reaches. Since it's all for beginners, now you can't even see me, can you? Oh. There we go. Let's do ankle reaches. So you're gonna try, if you can, reach the opposite of your ankle. If not, grab the same side. Work in the obliques. Shoulders off the ground, back onto the ground. All right? Three, two, one, let's go. 29, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 10 more. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, last one. Freeze, uh huh? Yeah? Okay. Let's do two more times and we're done. Sounds like a deal? Yeah? Let's do it. Two more times. I'll, I'll let you go. Three, two, one. Let's go. 20, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. You can do it. 4, 3, 2, 10 more. Let's go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, uh. each and every one who is doing this with me and can emphasize 
how I'm feeling right now. One more time. Ready? Enough said. Three, two, one. Let's go. Twenty. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Come on. Five. Don't stop now. Three, two, ten more. Let's go. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Shoulders off the ground. Three, two. Last one. <sighs> Done. Dun 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 dun. Dun 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 dun. Let's go ahead and work on our abs. Ready? Hit your child or uh, we're going to do cat cow, not child pose. Ready? Three, two, one, let's go. And breathe out. And again. And again. A mobility trick while you're doing this, and you can't watch me while you're doing the cat cow. If you want to work on mobility, try to use only your shoulder blades. You can separate them and come back in. Nothing else, just shoulder blades. This is a mobility trick. If you're not doing it, just keep doing cat cow. And then from here, you can try to use your mid back. You should be able to see the difference. And then from here, if you have complete control, of your pelvic, you can't just use your pelvic. Everything else is as still as possible. Just some mobility drills while we're in a cat-cow position. That's how you have complete control of your pelvic. If you're not using your mid-back, you're just really tucking that pelvic in and then letting go. Yeah, cool. Um, slowly come up, your head is the last thing that comes up. If you got something to hold on to, hold on to something. If not, you can do it standing, figure four. You'll love this. Two, one, switch sides. I know I'm halfway in the picture. It's okay though. So find a focus spot, push that knee down. Four, three, two, one, last one. While you're standing, round your back, stretch your back out. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Still stay standing. I'm just doing it in the link so you can see me. I want you to palms up, bring that pinky in, rotate your wrist as far out as you can. And then come out, open up that chest. Stretch the upper abs, chill this out. And your chesticles, if you have sore chests like I do. Because my chesticles are sore. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Good job. So if it's your Thursday, no, Friday morning workout, I hope you're going to hurry up and send me a sweaty high five so you may have a chance of winning a case which comes with four boxes of free magic speed cereal. Sounds cool? All right, I am going to do your focus now. I'll catch you guys later.